Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. Following the development of a detailed treatment plan, mouth preparation procedures are initiated as outlined. Preparation of the mandibular bicuspids frequently can be accomplished under infiltration anesthesia. The interval between administering the anesthesia and the beginning of tooth preparation provides an opportunity to record an impression for the construction of temporary crowns after the preparations have been completed. A small stock tray can be utilized. A heavy bodied rubber impression material can be used for this impression. As soon as the material has set, the impression is removed and inspected for accuracy and detail. The preparation of three-quarter crowns on adjacent bicuspids usually will begin with reduction of the proximal surfaces. Both teeth are prepared at the same sitting, and the preparations are so aligned that both crowns can be withdrawn or inserted as one unit. Short crowns require the proximal walls of the preparation to be as closely perpendicular and parallel as possible. Lingual surfaces are then reduced with a suitable diamond instrument, again maintaining the previously established parallelism. The box preparation and occlusal anatomy is prepared with a carbide burr. The box preparations that are to house occlusal rest seats should be extended buccal lingually beyond the normal box preparation limit. The cervical finish line is established and cusp and occlusal reduction is achieved to the level previously determined on the study cast. If appropriate clasp contours on the buccal cervical of the primary abutment tooth are absent, complete crown coverage rather than three-quarter crown coverage would be indicated. The amount of tooth reduction is then checked to be sure that adequate room has been allowed for the placement of the gold restoration. Lateral excursions must be checked to assure clearance in that dimension. A double thickness of number 28 gauge green wax should provide adequate gold thickness for most crown restorations. Perforations in the wax in the area of the abutment teeth would indicate that further crown reduction is necessary. Prior to recording the impression for fabrication of the gold crowns, gingival retraction is necessary. Commercially supplied gingival retraction material such as gingipack is suitable for this procedure. 
Utilizing the study cast, a custom resin tray is manufactured for recording the impression of the individual tooth preparations. A full arch recording is necessary for surveying procedures during the forming of the wax crown pattern. The custom tray is tried in the mouth and adjusted for proper fit, support, and extension. The gingival retraction material is removed, the preparations are air dried, and the impression material injected onto and around the prepared tooth. The tray with its contained material is then seated over this mass. A light consistency rubber material is used for the injection procedure and heavy bodied rubber material for the tray. After the proper setting interval, the impression is removed, thoroughly washed, dried, and inspected for accuracy of detail. A new wax occlusal registration is obtained. A working model of the tooth preparation must be articulated with the opposing maxillary cast to develop the occlusal anatomy and dimension of the replacement crown. It is extremely important that the closure into this wax registration be a controlled closure. Otherwise, the patient may overclose on the prepared side. The wax wafer is removed and chilled, then reinserted for final adaptation. A quick set resin material is now placed into the sectional rubber impression and temporary crowns are fabricated. The resin should remain on the prepared teeth when the tray is removed. The excess resin material is carefully removed. The occlusion is adjusted. Aluminum shell crowns may be used as temporary dressings over abutment tooth preparations, but the custom-made resin temporary crowns are usually more desirable. When the temporary crowns have been removed, the margins are finished and the crowns are reset with temporary cement. After a few moments, the excess temporary cement is removed and the patient dismissed until the next appointment. The silver plated working cast is articulated using the wax bite registration and the replacement crowns are fabricated. The occlusal anatomy is formed against the opposing maxillary cast and the work model is transferred to the dental surveyor for the alignment of the critical areas of the wax pattern. The buccal contours of the abutment teeth are rechecked for retentive areas.
the lingual and proximal surfaces are contoured to the previously determined path of appliance insertion and removal. These surfaces, made parallel to the path of insertion and removal, will act as guide planes and offer resistance and reciprocation for the retentive clasp arms. Occlusal rest seats are prepared in the wax patterns. The remaining tooth restorations are accomplished in the same manner. The restorations will improve the occlusal plane, provide an increase in the occlusal vertical dimension, and permit favorable contouring of the proximal and lingual surfaces for clasp reception. Splinting of the premolars converts the single-rooted second bicuspid into a multi-rooted abutment, more capable of receiving and disseminating the induced stresses from the distal extension portion of the proposed appliance. The splitting and the optimal contours will assist in maintaining the periodontal integrity of the abutment teeth. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu/license.